All right, so here's what we're going to make today. This is just a hook and an eye. Uh, you could actually, you know, use them together to latch a gate or something like that. Uh, now, the, the steel or the wire that I use, I, I actually get it free. Uh, if you go to uh, polling places after an election, they'll have, you know, out in the yard will be just hundreds of political signs. And the wire that holds them up uh, is great for making hardware out of. So... You know, as long as it, uh, it's free in your area to do that, I don't want anybody to get arrested, but uh, you can get all the wire that you want. All right, let's get started and get some of these made. This is the bender that we made in a previous video, and um, now let's see if we can make some hardware with it. I'm just going to clamp it in my vise here. And we've got different sizes. This is quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, and half. Okay, so I think the first thing we'll make is a screen door latch, like this one right here. And we just kind of capture our wire right up against that other pin. Come around, and you want to overshoot. And flip it over. Straighten that up a little bit. Now we're going to take the bolt cutters. I got some little, little bolt cutters. And I'm going to take those and I'm going to nip this end off right here. Oop. Yeah, watch your eyes when you do that. Then just take a hammer. Bend done. Okay, so now we want to come over and we need to form the up bend. So we'll just hold that there and you can make this this part, you know, as long or short as you want it to be. And this is almost a 90 degree. Right there. Might have gone a little past 90 actually. I'm not going to fix that a little bit. All right, now we'll form the top part of the hook. Come around. Then I like to put a little bit of a a flip out right down here at the bottom so it helps you catch the hook. So I'll just do that right there and then I'll nip this part off right here. And there you have it. Now I'll, I usually I'll take this on a grinder and see how I've smoothed that over because this is really pretty sharp. So I would grind this and then hit it with a wire wheel and uh, make that smoother. Okay. That's got that done. Now you can also uh, just make hooks and let's try let's get these 5 16 pins and drop them in there so if we just want to put a hook on the end or an eye I guess it'd be called on the end of this we just do something like this again you overshoot a little bit come back whoops I think I actually pulled that a little too much. There we go. Straighten that back out. And this one, I think I can just hammer it without cutting it. And then that gives us a nice loop. So you could actually, you know, you could nip this off and hammer this in and use that as a catch for your screen door 
door loop. A lot of times I just use a, a staple, like you know, a staple like that, like you get at the farm store, and you just stay, you use that on this end to hold it. You just nail it into a to the gate post, and then you use another one on the other end to uh, to capture it. And if you can't find these, um, you could just make them. Just take this, set your wire down in there. You know, I would take the bolt cutters, let's see, and hold it at an angle like that. And let me just nip that off. So now it's kind of sharp. And then. Just bend it and then cut the other side off at a sharp angle again. Well, I didn't get that one at a very sharp angle. But you could also, you know, uh, grind that to a sharper point and then you just hammer that in. All right, so that, that's got that one done. We've also got this uh, eye done here. The other thing, let's try making a, uh, an S hook. You know, for joining together some rope or or a uh, little bit of chain. So we'll just set that right there. Okay, I didn't use enough. There we go. Let's see. All right, and then we'll cut this off right here. And you've got an S hook. Get a pair of pliers and close that up a little bit. There goes your S hook right there. So then you could um, use that to uh, attach a little piece of rope or um, or a piece of chain. All right, I hope that gives you some ideas on how to use this. Um, if you didn't see the video on how to make this uh, bender, go back and watch that one. And uh, thank you for watching.